welcome back. I'm Rob again with Great Lakes Wakecraft. I'm here to talk to you a little bit more about the Creality Falcon 2, the 40 watt version. And today we're going to be talking about the two different modes, the normal mode and the precise or precision mode. Now the differences between those two is your normal mode is going to be your full 40 watt power. Your precise mode or precision mode, that's going to drop you down to 20 but that's the mode that most of us who use diode lasers are more familiar with. It's going to put it more in the size of the laser beam of that of the 10 and the 15 watt lasers and the 20 watt lasers that are out there. That's the one you're going to want to use for things like engraving pictures or um, intricate details. Um, if you're looking at cutting, you're going to put it in the normal mode. If you're engraving things that are, are bigger prints, you can put it in the normal mode because your laser beam is going to be a little bit bigger because you do have that more power. So what I'm going to be showing you today is I'm going to be showing you how we change between the normal mode and the precise mode. And I'm going to show you how we can cut through the wood. I'm going to be showing you today with three quarter inch pine wood. I'm going to be showing you how we can cut it through in one pass in the normal mode at 90 millimeters per minute at 100% power. But that same piece of wood, we're going to have to drop it down to 50 millimeters per minute but we're going to have to do it in two passes in order to get that cut um, similar to that of the 40 watt, the normal mode. So let me get things set up here and then we'll be right back with you and I'll show you what we got to do. All right, be right back. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you're going to need to make sure that you are uh, focused with your laser. So when you're looking at your focusing tool, you're going to see we have engraved and cutting thicknesses of about one to three, cutting four to six, and cutting of greater than six. Now, three, three quarter inch pine is about, I think, 17 or 18 millimeters. So, obviously, we're going to be on that bigger one. So, let's go ahead and get this set up on here. I'm going to go ahead and get those two set screws tightened up. All right, that is all we got to do there. Now, I already have this set up. I'm going to show you with the first setting. Um, first thing I'm going to do is frame it and make sure that we are all good there. All right, as you can see, we're all perfectly fine on there. And then we're going to go ahead and start the, the engrave. You can see, I don't know if you can see very well in the video, but it is smoking up pretty good. So it's definitely got a lot of lot of flameage, but the air assist is helping to keep that flame down. You can see it shining in the camera there. Uh, but again, the air assist is keeping the, the flame at a manageable level. But you can see how the honeycomb, is, all that smoke is coming up through there. Now normally I would have my cover closed, but kind of hard to video this to show you how this is working. If I keep it with my cover being kept closed for you. All right, so we are almost done cutting the first one here. All right, very good. So the first one is done. Right. Not nice and easy to pop out, but it is still able to be pushed through with your finger without any issue. And you can see here, nice round circle. No markings on here at all, nice and round. You got your fire marks on the back, but not much you can do about that when you're cutting this, this type of wood in this, this deep and whatnot. So now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, switching it to the, the manual mode here, or the uh, precise. So bear with me as I get things into place here. All right. So looking at the top of the laser, you're going to see these two yellow or two uh, lighted symbols. One says precise and one says normal. You put it down to precise. You're going to press this button here. It's a reset switch. You're going to press it and you're going to hold it for about two seconds. And then you're going to see that light come off. With that light off, it is now into precise mode, which means it is on the 20 watt power. And now we're going to go ahead and cut one more. Um, but I'm going to do it, leave it at this setting at 90 millimeters per minute at 100% power. Okay. 
Okay, again, we're going to frame it. Oops, I'm a little bit off. So let's get it back on there. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, now again, this is doing it still at the 90 millimeters per minute at 100% power, but at the 20 watt power level, just so you can see the differences between the two. Okay, again, it's still smoking up pretty good, so it's still letting out a lot of a lot of smoke as it's cutting away, but not as much as a honeycomb. So that's telling you right there that a lot of it's not cutting through the honeycomb as much as uh, the other would be. Okay, so now it is done running that one. So now let's take a look and it did not cut through it almost did you can see back there it, it tried but it did not succeed on that cut so i'm going to reset this but i'm going to change it down to 50 per 50 millimeters per minute i'm going to keep it at the 100 percent power and we're going to change it to two cuts or two passes on it so and actually, I'm going to move bump that up a little bit because I did a trial run earlier at 50, but it did almost cut it through at the 90. So let's let's move it to 70, but still do the two passes and let's see how that turns out. So again, let's frame it real quick and see how it's lined up, which not very well. So let's move it out a little bit and let's frame us again. There we go. All right. So now trying this once again, we're going to go ahead and do this. <laughs> All right, so we are done with that. Now that was two passes, 70 millimeters per minute, 100% power, and that did cut through. So as you can see, the other one you could do at 90 millimeters per second, you could run at full power and one single pass and be able to cut through a three quarter inch piece of pine. So the 20 watt, it's a little bit slower, but twice you have to cut it in order to get it to go all the way through. So you can see with the 40 watt power, when it comes to anything you're cutting, you definitely have a lot better opportunities there with that so that wraps up this viewing of the creality falcon 2 the 40 watt version have any questions please comment send an email um, look at look everybody up on facebook uh, tons of people out there that are willing to help you out answer any questions that you may have so that is it for now you guys have a great day and i will talk to you again later bye